If you said yes, a flame can burn through a metal gauze, then you would be correct. However, if you said no, you would also be correct. So, let me explain. Okay, so I've used this gauze before, as you can tell, it's a little bit tatty. However, the mesh itself is a fine metal mesh, and that's important because that's what affects the characteristics of the flame. So that will either inhibit the flame's passage through, or it will allow a flame through, dependent on prevailing conditions. So if I light a flame underneath the gauze, you can see that I can touch the gauze and the flame won't actually pass through. Now this is primarily due to the metal mesh being cold, and it will resist the flame for a short period of time. But I'll explain more about this in a moment. Now if you're not already familiar, it takes three things to keep a fire or a flame alight. And they are oxygen, ignition or heat, and the fuel itself. So for the flame not to be able to pass through the metal gauze, one of those three elements has to be getting taken away. And in this case, it's heat. So when we raise the flame up toward the metal gauze, which is cold, the heat is absorbed by the metal gauze and the flame cannot pass through. But if we leave the flame in one spot and allow the gauze to heat up till it's cherry red, you'll see that the flame now passes through the gauze because the heat is no longer dissipated or taken away from the flame. However, there is another way, and that is to allow the fuel to pass through the gauze and then ignite it, in which case the flame will then burn on the opposite side of the gauze. And because there's no heat being dissipated from the flame, the flame can't heat the mesh up, and the flame can't burn back to the original source of fuel either. And this is put into good use even today in systems such as flame arresters. As mentioned at the beginning, the size of the gauze or the holes through the gauze also play an important role in preventing a flame from passing through. Now if the holes are too wide then the flame can just simply pass through the gauze and the heat won't be dissipated from the flame. In summary then, a flame will pass through a gauze if the gauze is allowed to heat up enough. So it's probably not the best idea to try and contain a flame within a gauze, rather the other way around, and use the gauze as a flashback arrestor or some kind of a, a flame arrestor so that it doesn't burn back into the fuel. Now this all leads me back to a gentleman called Sir Humphrey Davy, who in the early 1800s was accredited with inventing the miner's lamp, the safety lamp, or the Davy lamp as it was subsequently known. And it was a device which used the metal gauze to prevent explosions in dangerous atmospheres, especially in the mining environment. I will be doing a video on Sir Humphrey Davy and the Davy lamp in the near future, so look out for that video. And in the meantime, I hope you've liked this one, and if you've got any comments, please leave them down below, and I will see you in the next video.